Que rollo con el poema Jerry Tickers. Welcome back to a new video. So yes, guys, I'm wearing the same clothes because I'm actually recording two vlogs in one day. You guys probably already saw the last one where I installed the intake on my, my new Mama Whiskies. And if you haven't, make sure you guys go check it out. Do so you guys see how these videos are linked up and they're kind of like episodes? Y como una novela. But yeah, what we're going to be doing right now is we're actually going to be buying some new wheels, some new rims for my new truck. And you guys already know, guys, I find all my special deals on offer up and you guys already know i'm the offer up team i actually found some cheap wheels some 22s black um they look all right for a decent price we're going to be paying 500 dollars for them like i wanted about 700 bucks i was able to knock down 200 and 500 bucks is, is not too bad you know nothing too crazy and i think they're going to look perfect on the new truck so right now let's just go to the bank let's get some money and then let's go check out the rims and see if we're going to bring them home or not all right guys so check it out check it out aquí vamos llegando where we're going to be picking up the rims but we're going to be checking them out first so como unos apartamentos. ¿Los tiene? Ah, aquí está el coche. Oh, okay. Hola, tengo un taxi aquí. ¿Should we offer to buy the taxi, guys? Become a taxi. He has a truck like my black truck. Let's check it out. Vale, bro. Bro, bro, bro. Eso mire. Oh, yeah. oh, ¿Son negros de original o, o es ah, la La verdad no les sé decir, primo. Yo los compré, compré una camioneta en caliente. ¿O oh, sí? Y, ya, y, la, y los, los agarré esos. ¿O sí? Órale. ¿Y que suena el requinto, compa? ¿Otra que ponen los videos en el YouTube, no? Sí. Órale. ¿Se los ha visto? Ya. Órale. Sí, nomás que yo, yo agarré los, o, los que trae ahorita la de esa. ¿O sí? Ya, por eso los quité estos. ¿O sí? Porque me gustó más los, los otros. ¿no? ¿Pero no tengo que craquearlos o nada? Nada, pero ¿Ah? chequealos bien, los, los cuatro, chequealos bien para que vean. No están ni, ni soldados, ni banqueteados, nada de eso. Sí. Garantizado me lo doy. Órale. ¿Andan chambeando aquí o qué? Sí, le dan luchando un cemento ahí. Eh, se van bien los niños. Sí, tengo otros iguales. Sí, los claro. miré, son unos cromados, ¿no? No, no, otros negros también. ¿no? ¿Sí? Pero, pero son más, aquellos eh, son más nuevos estos. Ah, aquellos son más, sí. modelos más viejos. Ah, pero bien. también son negros. Sí. Ya, cuando agarré la camioneta, lo agarré con aquellos primero. ¿Oh, sí? ¿Es la camioneta usted dentro? Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Y acabo de vender la mía. Aquí está, ¿La negra? Sí, la negra. ¿Ya? ¿En cuánto la dio? Carita la wea, ¿no? Sí, pero así está bien los rimes. A ver, un caso y eso, que se le salga el aire o lo que sea, dígame a mí, pero el que se le salga el aire no se le sale para nada. ¿Cuánto cobran por hacer este jale, primo? Del, oh, oh. De, de, por hacerle ahí ese. ¿Lo negro o las tinas? No, la, 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 para bajarla así. ¿O, o las, las tinas? Ajá. Ah, las tinas como unos. Unos 800 dólares. 800. Ya, ya, o oh, si quiere con, con este, como unos mil. No, 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 yo digo lo para, aquí, para, para bajarla. Sí, todo, todo, eh, todo con eso. Con bolsas de aire y todo eso. O con las bolsas de aire, pues eso, unos. Pues este no trae bolsas de aire, nomás oh, tiene, no. nomás está tumbada. ¿O oh, sí? Sí, pero yo mismo la tumbé. Ya, yeah, para tumbarla no, no, no es tan duro. Yeah. Pero pues si la lleva a otro lugar, le cobran unos mil para tumbarla así parejita. ¿Usted no hace ese jale o...? Ah, bueno, la puedo tumbar, pero pues no me dedico a eso. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yo no mando más, sé cómo hacerle, pero... Sí, pero yo quiero hacerle aquella, pero uh, con de ese para bajarla y subirla con bolsas pues de aire. Sí, no, pero yo conozco ahí un vato ahí en, en chino. Sí. Pues nomás atrás, con bolsas de aire para que sube bajo, como unos, yo le tiro unos... 2300. Oh, sí. Ya, yeah, pero pa, enfrente cuesta más carito porque tiene que moverle todo. Los, lo, lo, lo los de 5000 se hace con todo. Yeah, con con 5000 por ahí. Uh, tiene el, el, el. Sí, sí, ahorita, ahorita le doy su número. Oh, no, no. Ya vengo a mi show de airbags. Estos apenas los puse ayer, pero ya los tenía quitados desde hace como dos meses. Oh, sí. Pero no los, uh, no los quería vender porque el, tengo todo el frente negro. Oh, vale. Pero le quité todo lo negro y le sí, puse puro sí. cromado. Oh, ya. Vale. Por eso no los quité. Dije, para cuando me enfade este, yeah. le pongo los rines negros y todo lo, lo negro así. Pero dije, fa, fa, allá me están estorbando nomás muchos rines. Ya. Ya está. Ok. Muchas gracias. Vale, pues. Te agradezco. Y que como vieron, sí se hizo el trato. Están bonitos los rines. Ahorita vamos a ver cómo se van a mirar en la troca. Pero look, I tried backing up guys so I can unload them easy, but my truck is literally on the ground. Look, la mano ni cabe, and I'm right on the bumper. I'm scraping the paint at the bottom, but the good thing is you can't tell. Pero queríamos, queríamos troquita bajita, right? Yes, sir. Miren. Lo bueno es que 
bueno es que va a estar bien fácil porque nomás vamos a rodar this. check it out, check it out, look oh. papita dice mi mamá entonces hay que bajarlos ok, so bien rápido, ya los bajamos ahora la vamos a parquear y ahorita voy a ver si le voy a poner los rines ahorita mismo I'm gonna see I'm gonna be throwing on the rims right now guys because I'm a type of person I can't even breathe, se me va el resuello I'm a type of person que soy bien anxious um, cuando agarro algo um, lo tengo que, se lo tengo que poner a la troca o no me puedo esperar impatient, impaciente, es lo que soy so yeah, ahorita, um, porque si no se los pongo voy a, estar, voy a estar pensando en la noche quiero ver cómo se mira, quiero ver cómo se mira you know? so creo que ahorita a lo mejor se los voy a poner y a lo mejor voy a ir al gasolín a enseñarles cómo se ve so we have good lighting, you know? So, si hay que parquear esta, so ahorita a ver qué pasa ok guys, so, anoche no se pudieron ver los rines muy bien you can't really see the rims last night guys, but check it out I believe these are the Denali's 22's the only bad thing guys is that two of them, this one and this one, have that red like lettering and honestly I thought it was that one sticker como el parche que le ponen pero no, I think they got like a special marker and they just like colored it in so you know you know what I mean, you can't really like peel it off so I might just get something try to take it off pero si no se puede pues es lo de menos so yeah I think I'm gonna put the uh, letterings in the front and then the ones that don't have letterings in the back so it looks kinda like cool you know what I mean but honestly these, these are some good tires as well these are Toyo Proxies and then these are some Nitos so these are really good brand tires the only bad thing is that two of them are almost like wasted so the ones with the le red lettering those are the ones that are almost gone like this one and this one is, is still good and the one with red lettering it's not too good and then the other one is still good the needles are still good but yeah guys I mean either way todavía van a aguantar the only thing that I'm wondering thinking is I don't know if these are gonna fit on the truck because the truck is super low and the tire is kinda thick on these you know so we might need low pros but let's give it a try with these if they do fit then even better but yeah like I said it's nothing too crazy but they're well taken care of that's the good thing and they're black that's what I like I, I don't know I don't know about you guys but I like only black rim guys unless they're like intros and bellies then I like in chrome and stuff like that but yeah, enough talking, let's throw them on the truck and let's see how it looks. Okay guys, so this is the final look. Check it out. Honestly, I think it looks amazing. Like I said, for $500, I don't think it's going to get better. I think it gave the whole truck a whole different look. And I think the red actually matches in the front, just in the front. You know? The only thing is I think the tire is a little bit too big. Look at that. There's a, like barely any clearance. So we're going to have to do something about that. I'm going to go ahead and take it for a test drive. I'm going to see if it really bothers it or not. I know like that bumps and stuff, it's going to hit. And then these fit perfect as well. Only reason why they do fit is because it's all cut up. It's all cut up, you know? But something that I did realize is that, check it out right here, guys. It's, it's rubbing against the tire right here, so they needed to cut more, basically, you know? So basically, like, either I'm going to have to cut more or I'm going to have to roll the fender. And same thing with the other side. See, all along here is where, where it hits. It's right on it. So basically, my fingers don't even fit right here, you know? They don't go in. So uh, we leave it like this. It's going to be scraping the tire, and we're going to have the same problem that we are having with the daily truck. But there's good news, guys. The good news is that this truck bed tailgate bumper they're all trash guys we're gonna go ahead and just recycle it we're gonna throw it away to the trash the only reason why i say that guys i mean like like look at it the body's not even too beat up it just has this little thing right here but that's not a big problem right check it out same thing with the tailgate it's, it's in good conditions the only thing is up here it's all like dented but the good thing is when you put the spoiler thing when you put the spoiler thing it covers it so that's not a problem um it's missing this but that's not a problem this bumper as well i mean it, it wasn't too bad but we mess it up in Vegas. See how it's all beat up right there? And then look at the side of this bed right here. There is no problem. Like, the bed is a clean bed. But the only mistake that the old owners did is that they cut they cut open too much right here in the, in the tubs. They cut it like a, a, a rectangle. All of this is not a problem. This got all cut up good, but this is where the problem is. They were supposed to go from here, and then they were supposed to make it round like this. So basically, this little corner piece, they cut too much. So when we install the tubs, the tubs are going to go from about here, you know? So this little corner piece right here, it's going to be missing. It's going to look funny. And you can reweld and stuff, but it's just not going to look as perfect 
and OEM. So that's why I just decided to go ahead and throw this bed to the trash. I mean, if one of you guys really need it, you guys think you can work with it, the tailgate, the bumper, whatever you guys can have it, just hit me up. But stay tuned, guys. In the next vlog, you guys are going to see something badass. We purchased a new bed, but it's not your ordinary bed. That's all I'm going to say. Make sure you guys tune into the next vlog. The truck should have a new bed. But for now, I think I'm going to go on a test drive. I'm going to see how the truck rides with the new wheels. See if it hits a lot. I might go to the car wash. I might just finish taking all this off because it looks horrible. It looks like I got shot at. It looks like they threw a rock. I feel like if the cops see me, they're going to pull me over 100%, you know? Like I always tell you guys, it looks like a G-Ride. And I feel like I feel like if there's just no back window at all, I feel like that'll look a little bit better, you know? So we're just waiting on an appointment for that window as well. Also, guys, I forgot to show you that these are the old stocks. In the previous vlogs, guys, the reason why the truck did not want to go in the trade is because look at how bald these tires are. They're literally gone. There's some burners, you know? So I'm probably just gonna give these away to whoever needs them. Aquí vamos. We're going for a test drive on the new tires, and to be honest, so far I think that uh, uh, we are gonna have to do some like customizing or something because I do smell a little bit of rubber. It kind of smells like uh, something is burning, so I'm, I'm not too sure if it's the front tires or the back ones. More than likely, it's the back ones because um, what I did in the back ones, what I did with the back is I kind of try to roll them a little bit. Like I said, since the bed is trash, le metí el palo del, del, del jack, and I was just pushing, you know, so it helped a little bit, but it's still kind of close. You know, and the, the suspension, we have, we're not gonna get to that yet. Another thing also is the tire is a little bit too fat because when I turn, when I turn to the right, um, it turns right, it, t it turns good, but when I turn to the left, como que se atora poquito en the heads. I think, to be honest, it was the tires that had no traction, um, they had no meat, and then that's why the truck was, uh, it would be patinando too much because now I don't think the truck uh, patina when I give it gas, so, because it, uh, it has a lot more meat, you know what I mean? But yeah, guys, right, right now we're on our way to the car wash, we're gonna finish breaking this window and then we're just gonna vacuum a little bit and then we're gonna close out the vlog. Okay guys, so I should have brought gloves so that I don't freaking get glass on me. But first thing first, look. Oh, I'm gonna throw this away. Like I said, it's stuck together because of the window tint. There's a little baby sock. Hopefully the, hopefully the little kid no tenía hongos. We got another piece of glass right here, look. So right now we're gonna give it, we're just gonna give it like a quick little limpieza because either way, we're gonna rip apart the whole interior, the carpet and everything. We're gonna be every, adding everything brand new later on to the vlogs. So like I said, right now we're just gonna give it like a clean up as much as we can. So that's about it. Now the fun part, let's get to breaking. I forgot to bring like a hammer or something, we're gonna be using this thing. What we're gonna be doing so we don't make more of a mess, we're gonna be breaking from the inside in. You see? You gotta think outside the box. I'm one crazy YouTuber. There you go. Because honestly guys right now I feel like it looks it looks less like suspicious. It looks less like how do I say it? It, it looks I, I feel like if a cop were to see, I feel like the cop would just be tripping out like is it just me? Or or he doesn't have glass or I feel like he might think like yo I think I'm going crazy. I think he has glass but like I, like I'm tripping out. You guys know what I mean? I think I think we're gonna go ahead and leave this little side guys. We're gonna let the shop take care of that because that's a little bit more hard because it has the glue. I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. Hell yeah! What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Hopefully the shop don't get mad at me because um, I don't know, I don't know if this is actually harder for them to take it off or not. So let's give a little clean up right here. Oh! Little window tint right here. So you know, I, think, I think that looks a little bit better than how it looked before. When I broke the window, I 
know one of you guys told me like now that's a custom titan window for real this is like a freaking custom window now all the windows are gonna go in there check it out guys we got the lucky one dollar coin let's get cleaning let's get cleaning That's gonna be it for today's vlog, my favorite tickers. Don't forget to smash that like button if you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down what do you guys think about the new wheels. If you're new to my channel, become my favorite ticker today by subscribing, and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Peace.